Hi, I'm Jenny Rosencrantz with the University of Maryland Extension, and I'm going to share some beautiful fall blooming flowers because it's showtime. You know, we're kind of in that transition period mm -hmm. where mornings are, and evenings are cool, but the day's still kind of warm. So what you might call transition, I might call the perfect time to get the fall blooms, buddy. <laughs> and who better to help with that than this woman right here? Gardening expert Jenny Rosencrantz with the University of Maryland Extension. Thank you so much for joining us yeah, this thank afternoon. You. Th thanks for having me over. You brought stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah. beautiful stuff. You know, it's just really horrible. You have to just go out in the garden and take a look at things and just go, oh, one of these, one of these, one of these. <laughs> yeah, I overdid it. But I have to share my friends with you guys this afternoon because I mean, like, they're really happy looking flowers. They really are. Yeah. Okay, so so, so we get summer bloomers, but these aren't yes. summer bloomers. Well, some of them are summer bloomers. Okay. And, and like, for instance, the, uh, the Black Eyed Susans are summer bloomers, the uh, Purple Cone Flowers are summer bloomers, They, but they also like to bloom when it gets cooler too. But then we do have the ones that only bloom in the fall, and that would be like the Sedum Autumn Joy over there, the Golden Rod, and uh, the beautiful, this is Virginia Ironweed, it's, uh, okay. these natives gorgeous ones. Uh, this is Blue Mist Flowers, they're all really cool. Dahlias, <laughs> dahlias love the fall. And you know, some people can get dinner plate sized ones, I've never grown those, but I mean, those are pretty good size ones. Yeah. But irises, they have a lot of irises and daylilies that bloom in the spring and then they bloom again in the fall. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah. So they're really fun. They really so are. So looking at all of this, is this something that like, you know, wow, I really like the dahlia. Can yeah. I plant it now or when, yes. when, when do you plant them? Well, I would say I would wait until spring to plant the dahlia. Okay. Uh, but all of the others are really, you can plant them this fall and let them get established. And these are all perennials, which means that they're kind of come back year after year after year, mm -hmm. which I love. I love my annuals because they bloom all summer long and they give me so much, so gorgeous color. But these guys, they only might have a couple of times when they bloom, like for instance, the goldenrod only blooms in the fall. But when it blooms, it's like, wow. All right, so you know my standard question. I got a bunch of trees on our property. How okay. much sunshine are these guys gonna need? Most of these are full sun ones, but I could probably find you a couple things that, that do okay in the shade. Things like the asters can handle a little bit of shade, and yeah. they're the uh, the purple and the pink ones over there, the little teeny daisy-like ones. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and they're native, so they 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 kind of fit wherever they fit. So and now, are these pollinators? Can we? All of these are good for pollinators, which yeah. is important because even this time of year, a lot of people say, well, you know, the butterflies are gone. Oh heavens, no! I have I had to shoo some butterflies away. <laughs> and and the other thing is, is like for the, the uh, cone flower, when it goes to seed like this. I have to say good morning uh, to the goldfinches because they're eating all the seeds. Really? So not only are we feed, helping the pollinators, the butterflies, and, and you know, the, 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 actually we do have a lot of other pollinators besides the hummingbirds and, and the butterflies, but uh, we also enjoy uh, you know, helping the birds and having these cone flowers. So um, are these bulbs, seeds, how would you want to start the... Okay, most of these are perennial plants, but um, for the most part, you would want to buy them as little plants. That is the easiest thing. Yeah. Now, I know I have a lot of friends that love to do seeds, more power to them. Yeah. Uh, the, the reason why is annual seeds germinate just like that, boom, you know, because they only have one life to live. A perennial seed sits there and thinks, is uh -huh. it the right time? And, <laughs> and then it finally does it, and you're like, oh my goodness. <laughs> but you know, some of the perennial seeds you, you can actually do in the late fall, like when it gets really cold and the snow is out, and you just, you know, you put them into uh, containers and you sprinkle the seeds on top, and you put a little bit of um, uh, mulch or, or some topsoil on top a little bit, and then leave them outdoors. And even if it rains or snows or whatever, they, they're like, they like but it. they're perennials and this is the kind of life that they live. Awesome. So, yeah, that? easy. Gardening expert Jenny Rosencrantz with the University of Maryland Extension Office. As always, thank you so much. I'm gonna get some of these. Yeah, Absolutely.